Hi everybody, I'm Alex from the Synthesis development team and today we're going to be going over a new tutorial series introducing you to our updated inventor plugin for Synthesis. Now what this plugin lets you do is take your robot's currently configured CAD model already jointed and export that directly in to our Synthesis simulation and emulation suite. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over setting up your plugin and make sure you have all the pre-requirements. And in the following episodes, we are going to be covering all the steps necessary to successfully export your robot model. So, to start off, what you're going to need is an up-to-date version of Autodesk Inventor Professional. Uh, in this case, we're using 2020. Now, previous versions may work, but we highly recommend using 2020 since that's what we've all tested and developed on. Now, if you are a student or part of an FRC team, you should already get this for free. So if you don't have the latest version, feel free to just go to their education website at Autodesk and download the latest version. And while you're there, you're going to also want to go to the Synthesis website, use our installer, make sure you have the latest version, and install Synthesis. Now, this should install not only the emulation and simulator, but also pre-install any add-ins for Inventor and Fusion 360, which is important since now we're actually going to go into the plugin. So once you've done those installations, you're going to want to go to the Environments tab at the top. Once you click Environments, you should see a new button here called Robot Export with the Synthesis icon. All of our Synthesis exporting actions will be done inside of here. So go ahead and just click that, and you'll see a loading, loading dialog pop up. And now we are inside of our Robot Export workspace. So like in Fusion, we use the left to right workflow for exporting. What that simply means is that when you're exporting a new robot, you simply want to go through each button in a left to right fashion. So drivetrain layout, drivetrain weight, then your edit joints. You want to double check your joints using our handy toggle joint viewer. And then you want to go to finish robot export. Now the add-in settings aren't required for export, but it offers some helpful settings for our plugin. In this case, the highlight color, which is when you're actually exporting your joints, we can actually highlight to certain joints to help you identify them. So you can set the color of the highlighting here. In this case, we'll go for a red, for example. Show the robot export guide if you want to show the helpful beginner's tutorial uh, inside of our exporter. And then the send analytics. Now, this will just send usage reports to the synthesis development team to help improve it. It's all anonymous, so feel free to leave it on if you want. However, if you don't want to send data, go ahead and just turn that off. If you click OK, that should save all the settings, and you're good to go. So now we're here with a robot model pre-jointed and we have our plugin already loaded up. We should be ready to go into the next tutorial. Now a quick tip uh, before we get into joint editing, make sure that you have any of your subsystems that will be jointed on the top level of your directory. So in this case, this robot only has six wheels that are jointed. And if you notice, these six wheels are on the top level. This allows synthesis to find it. If you have an arm or an elevator, just make sure those assemblies are on the top level of your assembly, else synthesis will not find it. Uh, besides for that, we are ready to start our robot exporting process, so I hope to see you in the next episode. See ya!